Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Champion Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new planner in Microsoft Teams. So what we will do first is to go to the three dots and let's look for planner. Let's look. Hmm, where is it? Okay, so uh, the name is still task by planner and to do, and we could add it, but you'll see that we have the planner preview now appears. So what we see here is my day. We have my tasks and my plans. What we could do here is also to create a new plan. Here we see we have two types of plans. We have the basic and the premium. So this will probably uh, replace also the project. So, um, we can start as a basic one and just give a name and we could add it to one of the groups and this will actually create the plan. But what we can do also is, and by the way, look, look at the way it's shown. Very nice. The charts are like that. The schedule is a calendar. The board is the board and the grid view. It's very, very nice. So, but um, if we create a new plan, we can actually see the templates and so uh, shows um, actually um, a display uh, much nicer. I'll show you how it looked before. So we have a simple plan, we have a project, and it gives a preview. In addition, you see here we can switch between uh, all kinds of templates. HR, business, those with this uh, diamond, I believe, are uh, a premium and you need a special license for them. So we saw how the project is. The software developer looks like this and we can apply it. We can give a name, assign it to a group. It's optional. If not, it will create a new group. So I assigned it to this one and it has created a new plan. So um, I guess that uh, also the name of the app will, instead of uh, planner by tasks by planner and to do, it will be called uh, planner. It's currently in preview. There's also a possibility here to pin and uh, that's uh, something. So just to show you this look, this is how uh, it looks now. Uh, marketing campaign. You see, this is a premium one. Uh, if we try it, we can try to start for free, but um, it will require uh, to have a, a license. So actually, if I show you, this is how it looked in in the new Teams. And if I go now and uh, just see how it was in Planner, let's see how it is. Uh, just a second, here we go. So I'll just go and look for the tenant. And if I go here and go to planner, let's look for it. So you will see that actually, if I create a new plan, this is how it looked before. And now we will see how it looks now, uh, much nicer. Um, so try it out and uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.